The London Plan is the statutory spatial development strategy for the Greater London Area. The first plan was written by Ken Livingston in 2004. Livingston was London's first elected mayor and it's been revised a number of times since. The 2011 revision looks to 2036 and includes a number of objectives. An internationally competitive and successful city, diverse, strong, secure and accessible neighbourhoods, a city that delights the senses, a world leader in improving the environment and a city that meets the challenges of economic and population growth. These objectives are driven by the Greater London Authority, which looks after London as a whole. London's 33 local boroughs decide whether to approve any new developments in the capital, while the Mayor retains control on strategic development sites and buildings over 20 storeys. Accommodating the growing population will have a major impact on the physical shape of London as a city. Current policies are aimed at delivering housing development within the Greater London area and protecting the green belt which surrounds the capital. This is more sustainable than suburban sprawl and requires denser development, the reuse of brownfield land and good public transport connections. In order to facilitate this policy, the Mayor has designated 38 opportunity areas, each with significant capacity to accommodate at least 5,000 jobs or 2,500 new homes. Each one is sited close to places with good public transport accessibility. Examples of opportunity areas are found right across the city, such as at Royal Docks, Elephant and Castle and Earl's Court. One example of an opportunity area is Vauxhall Nine Elms on the South Bank, which has an ambition for 16,000 new homes and up to 25,000 new jobs. At Battersea, there will be an extension to the Northern Line and a new linear park, which will connect to Vauxhall, where there will be a new cluster of towers, some as tall as 60 storeys high. 2026, it's hoped that Old Oak Common will be at the conjunction of Crossrail and High Speed 2, and the Mayor has set up a development corporation which will transform the area and deliver 90,000 new jobs, 19,000 homes, together with schools, shops and leisure facilities. The delivery of housing is one of the Mayor's most intractable problems. To meet the needs of the growing population, he has plans to build some 42,000 homes in London each year. Others suggest the requirement is more like 50,000. Yet the combined efforts of the Greater London Authority, the local authorities, housing associations and the private sector is only delivering half that number. In order to ensure there are jobs for the growing population, the Mayor is keen to encourage new business sectors, including technology enterprises, medical research, higher education and the creative industries. The London of the future will be more dense and it'll be taller. If growth continues at the current rate, in a decade or so, London will have to look outside its boundaries either to developing parts of the Greenbelt or areas of the home counties.